Thank you. Sing the full for all campaign, the end of my calling out to you and you and you out there who has something to share with so a brother and a sister. Uh, Trigmatic, like and I'm here with my man Jose, with food for all Ghana. If you want to, we're talking to everybody. GH, stand up. I will help to save a life. I'll no not waste food anymore. It's all that's needed to survive. It's a food for all campaign. Let's join our hands to spread the word. Let's not waste food anymore. Yeah. We can keep the dream alive. Join the food for all campaign. Everybody say, Oh, we so that's all you're gonna say. Ooh, for me. Everybody say, Ooh, we it's a food for all campaign. Everybody say, Ooh, we Everybody say, Ooh, we Everybody say, Ooh, we it's a food for <laughs> all campaign. This one he be food for talk to show support for people with them food they short. We all for salt. So far as you get food for pot, you get the lot. Before you waste the food you bought with all you work for. You mean the one I'm quang one or bread? The ones when look at the money, I just say what's red. Why see your belly die over your sweat? Why we me a warn you, me and on a me Yeah, hear me when I say. Street kids they complain, complain. What ye mean, what ye mean, I ye mean, hey. Food for all campaign, food for all I pray. So help me say, help me say. I will help to save a life. I'll not waste food anymore. This life is needed to survive. It's a food for all campaign. Let's join our hands to spread the word. Let's not waste food anymore. We can keep the dream alive. Join the food for all campaign. Everybody say, ooh, we yeah. oh, You don't want the fools watching. Ooh, yeah. Everybody say, ooh, we yeah. It's a food for all campaign. Let's give ourselves a round of applause. Ooh, yeah. Thank you so much. Everybody say, Someone will soon be saying, why yeah. would a chef Say this side serving rush hour and yet coming to talk about the common work. That's the question I know most of you might be asking now. Well, it took a mentally challenged man for me to realize that I can be a social entrepreneur. So there was this mentally challenged man who goes around picking leftovers from restaurants to feed his colleague mentally challenged on the streets. He was doing it every day. He comes to my restaurant to pick. And then one day I decided to ask him, why do you do this? Could you believe of all the wisdom we have in this country? This mentally challenged man told me, if he doesn't do it, who will do it? And for me, it made me realize there is a problem with our food system. My name is Chef Elijah Amuado. I'm the founder of Food for All Africa program. And as well, I'm a 2017 freshest queen young leader in Ghana. Food for All operates West Africa's first food bank in Ghana by creating efficiency and sustainable means of nutrition through food recovery farming and forum for stakeholders within our supply chain. Unfortunately, I'm not going to serve the queen's watching. Neither am I going to cook for you. But I'm going to tell you what is a modern common work and what does it mean to the Ghanaian youth and what do we want it to mean. Growing up, I remember in primary when we go to school, there is this story shared about our history where we are told that when the queen was giving independence to Ghana, she took all our gold and gave a lot of money to our first president to build London Bridge in Ghana. And could you believe what Dr. Kwame Kuma, the bridge Dr. Kwame Kuma decided to build? Rather, he decided to build Adomi Bridge and then give the rest of the money to our colleague African nations in order for them to also gain independence. 
this made me to ask myself, then what is the use of the Commonwealth? Why would democratic or countries that have gained independence still be under the Commonwealth? It also made me to believe that the Buckingham Palace is actually built on gold. So when I was told I'm going to meet the queen, I was expecting to walk on gold into the Buckingham Palace. But unfortunately, that was in the case. But when I got to meet the queen, I, it was there that I got to understand that the historians don't tell us about a certain young princess, Queen Princess Elizabeth, who, when Adolf Hitler was trying to take African colonies into his control, this queen was brave enough as a young lady to join the army to fight against Adolf Hitler's army. The same history does not tell us about a certain queen who happens to be head of state up till now of 15 other developed and developing countries. It never tells us that, the historians never tell us that the queen is still head of state of Canada. They still don't tell us about that of Australia. So that made me to start asking myself, so what does it mean, Commonwealth, what does it mean to my ordinary, I grew up from Jamestown. So what does it mean to my brother in Jamestown? Then I had to recollect what the Commonwealth meant to us. And I quite remember the Commonwealth is one of those network meetings where our head of states go to beg for aid. And they end up sleeping when negotiating for trade deals. That was what I remembered. I, it, it also made me to remember that when we hear the Commonwealth Games when we were youth, it was those times that when you hear the Commonwealth Games is coming, that is when our leaders in sports will be looking for their nieces, nephews, to give them the opportunity to represent, even though their nieces and nephews aren't qualified or don't have the talent for sports, they will still give them that opportunity to go and represent Ghana at the Commonwealth Games. And we end up failing woefully. And then at the end of the games, when the athletes are being looked for to return back to Ghana, you can't find them anywhere. That is the Commonwealth that what the Commonwealth means to us as young Ghanaians. But I ask myself, what must the Commonwealth mean to us going forward? And I realize, I, I, I realize Ghana was one of the first African countries that actually joined the Commonwealth. And we have benefited immensely from the Commonwealth through different projects, through many other projects you see in this country. So I kept asking myself, what do we really want it to mean for us? I remember when I became a social entrepreneur and went to register my company as a social enterprise. At Register General, I was told by the officer in charge that in the legal books of Ghana, there's nothing like social enterprise. It's either it's NGO or profit making. So I was forced to actually register the two companies, Food for All Africa program, as the non-profit, and then SDG2 farms. It became difficult for me, even for corporate bodies, to understand what I do as a social enterprise. Until quite recently, the British Council changed the way they run their programs. First, you do exams, you pass, you get opportunity to school abroad. And that was where all the rich people were taking their children. They go there, they school, they finish, they don't come back. They serve there, living as here. So 
I realized two years ago, all of a sudden, British Council started programs centered around social enterprise, which I was very happy for. So when British Council started the Social Enterprise Network Ghana, I was one of the young social entrepreneurs who joined the network. And through that effort, through that same effort, the British Council was able to bring government and other stakeholders together to launch the National Social Enterprise Policy in just last year. So very soon, Ghana will be having a National Social Enterprise Policy. These are the things that, as young Ghanaians, we want the Commonwealth to mean to us. These are the things that we want it to mean to us. I kept also asking, so what do we really want it to mean to us? So I reached out to some of my colleagues to know from them what they really want it to mean to us. And to be sincere with you, as the future generation, we want the Commonwealth to be more about trade instead of aid. We want it to be more of partnership, equality, development. If it is about education, the same standards of education in other countries should be the same in every Commonwealth country. I also ask myself, what do we still want it to mean? The Commonwealth is not just about UK. It's not just about UK. When other great nations, leaders of other great nations, like our famous US, their leaders start thinking of making their country great again means they have to build walls. Then you should know why we need the Commonwealth. Because for them, they think building walls will protect their children and their future. That should tell our leaders that this is the time for us to build the Commonwealth for the future generation. I leave you with a story of Messi, a young SHS my name graduate is Sean, an SHS who happens to be to one of my beneficiaries. She has she completed SHS with high grades, but unfortunately, because of where she finds herself within the Commonwealth, she has little or no hope of a brighter future. Can we play Messi's video? Because of where I find technical, I really wish within the Commonwealth. Messi will be seen. My only hope is to wait for a miracle to happen or to end up in the house of a man with shattered dream of becoming the next renowned lawyer. Commonwealth, to me as a Ghanaian youth, should be that of equality, youth participation and governance, hope for a better future and development for all. Therefore, all hands must be put on deck to build a commonwealth for the future generation. Long live Ghana, long live commonwealth. Thank you. Yes, so as it is said, my late mother always kept saying something to me before she died. She said, Elijah, because I believe so much that for you to value the essence of life, just like a father who thinks about the future of his children, when building a house, will make sure, even though he can employ laborers to carry stones, sand, he will make sure his sand does by day, what we call by day, his sand is part of the building of that house, so that when one day the father is not there, he wouldn't just say, I inherited this house from my father, but rather he will say, I helped my father to build this house, and that is the common word that we want to see. Thank you. Wow. Incredible. Wow.